Welcome to another episode of x 11 with me, Mr. Dude. Um, we are going to practice the IILS approach, um, so we're going to be uh, practicing here in Seattle. Um, I do want to take the opportunity uh, before we get started to please ask you to like and subscribe to, for more uh, simulated uh, simulation videos. Um, you know, I do appreciate the support um uh that uh these views get um and it kind of encourages me to kind of keep delivering these things for you so anyway um let's go ahead and get started um i am a noob uh, at all of this i don't fly very often or very well so um i'm sure i'll get trolled by somebody that says Ooh, but i I do other things for a living. I don't fly. So, all right, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. First things first. Okay, we've got the runway off to the, off to the left. Um, soon the ATC will contact us with the heading and altitude we need to fly. On the approach, until then, just keep, we'll just keep it straight and level. Okay, so here we go. Fly heading, okay, so fly heading 160, fly heading 160, maintain 5,000 feet, vectors ILS runway 34, Romeo, okay, acknowledge, okay, you heard the ATC, let's get the heading of 160, altitude of 500, it was pretty out. okay, so uh, use your altimeter, and heading indicator. Yep. So we are going to get the ooh. Five thousand. And one sixty on the uh, heading. One fifty. That's great. Hold it right there. Problem is, we really haven't established our oh, our attitude reference. Okay, so it's going to be.
some of this altitude if I can. Arr, you're killing me, plane. left heading. Okay, so... Then we'll back off the gas. Okay, at this point, when you look at your CDI, you should see two lines. Okay. Once we get on course for the ILS approach, these lines, needles, will indicate which direction you need to fly to stay on course. The vertical needle shows your lateral or horizontal left right deviation from the ILS course. Likewise, the horizontal needle shows your vertical up and down deviation. If you point the place noise towards the needles, uh, by flying right when the vertical is in, you eventually intercept the course. Of course, this is all moot for now. We're perpendicular to runway, so we won't start following a uh, turn towards the runway. 3,000 feet. Okay. Okay, left heading zero one zero. Maintain. Okay. Left heading zero one zero. Got it. Watch your course deviation indicators when the uh, towards the center. You'll know you're almost lined up with the runway, so you need to be moving quickly towards the runway. Setting 340. Continue. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay. So, 340. Okay.
away. And if you look at that instrument there, we're basically just about sucks too because the, the gauges are kind of glitching. I don't know if it's lights or what the heck, but it's a bit glitchy. There we go. Alright. Now we've intercepted the glide slope. So you kind of use the needles, alright, let's drift back into place, we're a little higher than we need to be, there we go, So that's it, ladies and gents. So landing performance, <laughs> yeah, the center line deviation was pretty bad, but everything else felt pretty good mm, not too bad the glide slope was a bit yeah but you know what so uh, that's barely a C C's get degrees so all right folks thanks for uh, watching another episode of explain and love me with me mr. dude uh, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button subscribe to all things fun on the channel and we'll see you next time